Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is the Redbeard Grind and I'm Redbeard. I'm a full-time eBay and Poshmark reseller and I post these videos Monday through Friday about what I sold the day before um, so that hopefully you can go find this stuff and make some money on it yourself. And we're just all kind of kind of learning together. I'm not a, I'm one of the little guys. Um, and before I get started, I'd like to go through this information fast, but before I get started, I've got a few announcements I want to make. I'm going to attach uh, my Facebook group in every video now so that you can you can click over there and join the Facebook group if you want. There's nobody in it right now. I got one buddy of mine, Mike Lacombs, in there. Um, but I want to try to grow that. And I'm going to start putting all my attachments and stuff into that group and organize it and organize some other information over there that'll be helpful for everybody. Right now, there's nothing there. I just got to get some people going, joining it and uh, get some posts. If you need help or uh, you, you can post videos or pics or whatever if you need help with something. And if I can't help, I'll at least try to point you in the right direction. And as the group gets bigger, there will be people that are qualified to probably help with every every aspect of this business. Um, so that's that's one thing. Uh, two, I'm going to start doing a bolo at the end of every video um, just from eBay. Not something I've bought and sold, just something that I want to learn about, and I'm just going to share it with you guys. I'm going to do one a video, so that'll be five bolos a week. And over a long, long period of time, that'll be a really great knowledge to have as a reseller, like things to look out for. Uh, let's see. And the Nike hoodie deep dive is going to be attached to this video also. So feel free to take a look at that, download it and use it. It's just going to go over Nike hoodies uh, in general and what to look for um, and try to find out what's out there to buy and flip. And then at the end of this video, this is the last announcement, by the way, um, I'm going to go review auto posture, just a very short no details, just broad general review. I've been using it for like less than a week, so it's not like I can give you an extensive review, but I'll tell you why I like it better than Vindu and um, list perfectly and how much I'm paying for it and what it's doing for me. So stick around, lots to come. Uh, let's jump into this. Let's get let's get to this. So this is my weekend video. I'm gonna cover Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, I sold 48 items, did 1,300 on eBay, and then I sold 10 on uh, Poshmark. And I got three items I'm going to show you from Poshmark after this. So I'm not going to go over all 48. I'm just going to go over the, the top items here. And then we'll get on with the video. All right, let's do this. And if you like this type of stuff, hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up to help share the channel. All that good stuff. Um, I feel like a broken record every time I say this. But if you watch my videos, uh, Peter Millar is something I sell a lot of. I got this from TJ Maxx. I bought a lot of these throughout the summertime to flip. And I don't, I usually don't buy them when they're new. They, I usually wait till they hit the clearance rack. Um, this one, I think I probably paid 14. I might've even paid 19 bucks for it. I really don't remember, but um, I sold it. It says 7190, but here it says, this is with the shipping and everything, 8568. I netted 59 bucks from it. Um, so you gotta take away my cost of goods, which is not Salvation Army prices it was at least just assume 20 bucks to get it um so if that's the type of business you want to be in, i'm just sharing this with you but these types of patterns they sell well if you can i don't know if you can see it but there's fish in here this is like a blue camo with fish in it and i bought three of these i bought these kind of late i think i, I listed this june third. No, it's not too late um but i have two more left and i've sold two or three of these and they're going for that uh 60 70 80 dollar range uh, if you can find Peter Millar with skulls on it, that'll even sell better. It's called Seeing Doubles, I think. But um, any unusual pattern that you can find at TJ Maxx, and they have them often, um, is worth looking into. And it, You can usually comp it with the name. Like this has the name on it somewhere on one of these tags. I think it's the, I guess, Bluefish Camo maybe. Um, but comp it before you buy it. Make sure you're comfortable with it if you're going to pay up for it. I've had this thing listed, you know, since June, and I was trying to get ninety bucks for it. I have had sold some in the eighties and close to ninety dollars, but this one went for seventy one ninety. Still happy with it. Just wanted to share it with you. There's the logo. It is the summer comfort. I I prefer the summer comfort over uh, the other styles that they have. All right, vintage Wrangler brush popper. This one's been setting since July twenty second. Usually these fly off the shelf, especially at this price. But this one didn't have a collar. It's um, a different style. It's got like a, uh, I don't know what you call it, collar. If you know what, what you call it, call it a, leave me a comment below. This is like a, um, I can't remember what you call that kind of collar. Uh, but usually they have a collar and those things fly off the shelf. And this, this is a striped. It's, um, you know, if you can find one with an Aztec print or tribal print, these things will go over $100. Uh, but I got this from Goodwill for 
$5.99. There's your tag right there. It's what to look for. It's got the Wrangler logo on the pockets. It's, it's pretty worn out, but you see the W right there. And then it's the feel of this is really heavy, thick, and it's got kind of like a, um, a waxy feel to it. And uh, that's what the brush poppers feel like. And they, they sell well. Uh, in one of my videos last week, I think I showed you one I sold for 70 bucks, had holes and stains all over it, but it was a really cool pattern. And someone just had to have it. So this one's out for a little while. They usually don't set that long. But again, it's because I think this style is just not as, as sought after. But yeah, it's a, a beautiful shirt. I'm always on the lookout for these. Um, I'll buy these from Goodwill, Salvation, Ben's, wherever I see them, as long as they're in okay shape. They don't even have to be in good shape, just okay shape. All right, let's get on to the next one. Jones, New York, 100% wool pea coat. I got this at the Ben's. I listed it September 16th. I paid $2.80 for it. And uh, I did have to put some some work into cleaning this thing up. I, I do dry cleaning. I have a little kit that I do in my dryer um, to just to freshen things up. And, uh, and I had to get all the freaking hair off this thing. There was hair all over it. So it took a while to do that. Uh, I, I don't, I pass up a lot of stuff at the bins just because of that, but, um, this went pretty fast. I sold it for 39 bucks and for a $3 investment, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I sold a couple of coats like this. They're, these are at the bins every day, every day, every time I go there, I find stuff like this, but I pass, pass up most of it because it's, uh, with wool, you really have to check to make sure there's not holes in it, but this is Jones, New York, 100% pure wool. And it is seasoned to be listing stuff like this right now. This is going to start flying off the shelf. So that was a really good uh, return on my money. I'm happy with that one. Polo hoodie. Let's see. What is this? Oh, okay. This has got the polo bear on there. Which one? Which bears? This is preppy bear. So if you ever see any of the uh, polo Ralph Lauren shirts, hoodies, jeans, whatever, with, with the bear on there, um, one, watch out because they're, they're faked a lot, but uh, just make sure the bear looks like it's it's high quality embroidery. Like the fakes will look junky. They won't look as good. They won't look right. But um, these these guys are pretty valuable depending on what they're on and how old they are. This is a modern one. This is not vintage. And I got this. I want to say I got it from Goodwill. Yeah, I got this probably Goodwill, maybe the bins. But if I got it from Goodwill, I paid five ninety nine for it, and it went for thirty four bucks. I listed it September 26th, so it went pretty fast. Actually, this I got. I probably have to stop using this because I, I relist so often now, and I'll get into that at the end of the video with auto posture that that date becomes un, unreliable. Uh, that's one of the things I don't like about it. But uh, if you see a bear, there's different bears. You can just Google the bear that you have or use Google Lens, and it will pop up, and you'll see what people are calling the bear, and that way you'll know. Uh, but if you see a bear on Polo Ralph Lauren, you definitely got to stop and look at it and see if it's something that's valuable. And that one was. All right, let's see. What else we got? Wrangler Pro Gear. Sold these for 30 bucks. Uh, this was a Goodwill's find. I think it was new with tag. It still had the tags on there. A lot of times I just pick up stuff that's new with tag if it's a decent brand. And I don't comp it. I just get it and uh, resell it. The I would buy these used even. I sold tons of these throughout the summertime. And as we get into the fall and the winter time. Stuff like this is going to start moving. The, the hunters are already starting to pick up tons of camo. I'm selling camo every week, if not every day right now. So be on the lookout for stuff like that. This is called brush pants. It's got this like heavy canvas leather on the front and then the back. It's just on the front and a little bit on the back so that when you're walking through the woods and stuff, you're not getting um, eat up by uh, all the thorns and, and the brush and stuff like that or poison ivy or upland pant. That's a good, I should have had that. And that's a good keyword to use that I didn't use. Oh, no, I did. Upland. Upland pants. So don't pass those up. I buy those in pretty much any brand. I even had bought some redhead ones throughout the summer and sold those for a nice price. All right, Pilcrow Corduroy button-down shirt. Um, oh, I, I'm gonna I'll share a little bit, a little, a little tip. So I have been using Chat GPT. I pay I pay twenty bucks for the the subscription. You can't you can't use it as much if. Uh, if you don't pay, but I love it. I get a lot of information from it. It helps me do all research and stuff that I do for the, um, for YouTube and everything. But I've been, uh, I stuck this into chat GPT, the, just the picture. And it gave me, I told it, I kind of taught it how to give me a title and it, it's, it's really helpful. If you don't know what something is, it'll tell you exactly what it is in detail. 
It's really nice. I've been using it and experimenting with it when I list. Uh, just a little tip there. You can check chat, chat GPT out. There's all kinds of AIs that help with stuff like that. But um, this was a Ben's fine. I paid $2 and some change for it. Let's just call it three. Sold it for 34 It was listed in September. I know it hasn't been setting around for too long. Uh, I think it even have a flaw on it. Let's see. Oh, this, so that's supposed to be a loop. So when you, if, I guess if you have a belt or something, it'll hold it up, but that one loop broke. Um, but that's it. it. Otherwise, it was really nice looking. And uh, Pilcrow is a brand that I don't buy that often, but this was kind of cool. I think my girlfriend picked it out, actually, uh, and said it would sell, and she was right. 34 bucks from 3 to 34 Let's see, what other stuff? REI Co-op's pretty good. REI Co-op, I think, is better than just REI. And then there's a REI uh, Element um, uh, branch that's that's really good. I'll go over, let's see, just a couple more. And then we'll jump over to Poshmark, because i got a lot to go over. My eye keeps itching. All right, REI Co-op Pants. Um, I think this was Goodwill's. Goodwill Find, so I paid $6.99 for it. Uh, this is just some pants with, like, a double, the double knee you can see. See there, and uh, hikers and outdoor people love love this type of stuff. Even just people that are just going to work in this. This is a nice canvas, canvas material, and they were in really good condition. REI, I, I pass on most of the time. REI Co-op, I pick up if it's in good condition. And then um, I think it's REI Elements is really the high-end stuff that's really nice uh, that sells for, for a good amount of money. Let's see, when did I? Yeah, that's definitely a, a good will find. All right, here's a Ben's fine. You can say I paid $3 for this, but it's, it was pretty much practically free because it doesn't weigh that much, but I just threw it in with all the clothes. Um, this is a, I don't remember what you call it, a bolo necktie. Uh, when I saw it, I was just like, eh, it doesn't weigh hardly anything. I'm just going to throw it in, in in with the clothes and uh, see if it sells. And uh, it does. I sold this sucker for 26 bucks and $8 shipping. So uh, heads up, if you see stuff like this, or if you know something about this type of stuff, let me know. I mean, this might have been worth a hundred bucks, and I don't know. Um, I I did comp it, and uh, that was about what I figured they were worth. But uh, if you know more about stuff like that, go to the comments or go to the Facebook uh, the Facebook page and uh, share your information. All right, I'll do this one, and then we'll jump over to Poshmark. It's just too many cells to go over. It's a great problem to have. Uh, this was a vintage Ocean Pacific windbreaker, and. I, I picked this up at the bin, so this is three bucks. And when I saw it, I was like, I have to have this. All this, these colors are just really cool. Um, it was a good shape. There's nothing wrong with it, I don't think. Let's see. No issues, right? There's the tags. Was it made in USA? Made in, made not, it doesn't say USA. I don't know what that says. Um, I can't read it. But anyways, stuff like this, they just, it shouts vintage and it's got the cool colors on there. I'll pick up, um, especially at the bins. If this was at Goodwill for like $6.99 or, or more, I may have passed on it. Uh, but sold it for $24. It went fast, plus eight, and it weighs nothing, so I, I made profit on the shipping. All right, let me see if there's anything else worth mentioning. Like anything unique that, eh, just normal stuff. All right, let's jump over to the Poshmark. I wanted to show you a couple of these things. Um, this is a Obermeyer jacket that went for 29 i just want to share that with you because it went for 29 bucks i'm not familiar with this brand um, and this is a teen jacket but this is what it is obermeyer if you see this you might want to look into it i don't know 29 dollars sounds good to me i got this at the bends for three bucks I'm trying to find the tag there's a tag obermeyer and this type of stuff is going to start moving right now um so hopefully you're getting you're, you should be buying stuff for the seasons that are coming right now and stop buying summer stuff if you're if you're still loading up. I, I pass on a lot of shorts now that I would normally buy like earlier in the summer or before the summer, but right now I'm just passing them up unless I find a brand that I know will move. Um, I want to share Robert Graham because I always a lot of people say Robert Graham is dead, and it it does not sell for what it used to, and it's harder to sell now. It doesn't go as fast, and it doesn't go for as much money, but you can still make some money on it. This was a Ben's find, so I picked it up. Um, I probably would have picked this up at Goodwill too because the pattern. I don't pick up Robert Graham normal pat like boring patterns, but this one's really cool. Um, but since I got it at the bins, it was like three bucks for me. I sold it for twenty three. It went fairly fast. Um, it's a really cool shirt. I like stuff like this. Um, any brand that has like loud, crazy um, patterns like this, I, I 
I'll pick up like if a Tommy Bahama had a pattern like that, I'd pick it up. But if a Tommy Bahama was just plain blue, white striped shirt, I would pass on it. But yeah, Robert Graham. Uh, did I show you the logo? Let me see. I like showing you the logo. There's the logo. And this was a small too. All right, let's get on to Abercrombie and Fitch. This is another Ben's Fine. Paid three bucks for it. Sold it for 31. I just listed this, I think last week. It went pretty fast. I'm just sharing it just in case you see one of these out there. I don't know a lot about this. I, it looked older. I wasn't sure if it was vintage or not. I didn't do much. I didn't spend a lot of comping time on it. I just liked it because of all the different pockets on it. It's fleece lined and it was um, it was in pretty good shape and it was an extra large. It had a lot going for it. So it's got the stripe on it too. Um, if you see something like that, you might consider looking into it. You could probably sell it for 30 bucks or maybe even more. Mine went fast, so maybe you could put 34 or 39. I tend to, I don't, I'm never the cheapest when I list, but um, I will go, I go a little bit above average usually. And then sometimes if I know I want all the money on something, I will go high and I'll just let it set. But usually those are the things that sell for 50, 60, 70 bucks or even over 100. Everything else I just kind of want to fly out of my inventory uh, with money coming back to me. Okay, let's do the bolo. I wanted to, um, I'm going to start doing this just because this is a great way for me to learn. That that video that I did last week with the, the M&M yellow mesh Nike hat, like I, I would have passed that up all day long. I would have passed up the shoes all day long. So I was like, I'm going to start adding one of these every day and just build my inventory, my mental inventory of what what is worth money out there. I may not, it may not even always be clothes. And if you want to make suggestions, make suggestions. Um, I did the deep dive on Nike hoodies because someone had, requested a Nike deep dive. And um, I can't do like a brand deep dive on anything. It's just too much information. I got to, I got to narrow down. If you meant shoes, just let me know and I can do shoes too. Um, but the, the center swoosh hoodies, and this is in the detachment I have, the Nike deep dive attachment, um, go for crazy money. This one went for 2000 and I don't really know why besides it was made in the USA. It's, it's vintage and it, it's rare. It's got the white tag. I think I read about this when I was doing my research for the, for the, um, maybe this is the one I read about. I was doing research for the deep dive stuff. Um, but anyway, so yeah, there's your tag. That's the, the older tag. Uh, and in the, the, um, in the deep dive link, I have a little, little bit of information about tags. There's a little visual in there, but you can always Google more. Um, so that if you see this tag and you see this little bitty swoosh, um, and apparently this cream colored hoodie with the red embroidered swoosh is very rare. And uh, it is now in someone's collection. But, uh, yeah, crazy money. Don't pass up the... And I know about the little swoosh. Uh, it even has a stain on it. It went for 2000 freaking dollars. Um, but uh, I've never found one. I've never found a, a uh, center swoosh hoodie, shirt, or anything. I'm just going to open up some of these so you can see it and get to know what it looks like. And if you find one, give me half your money if you find it because of me. <laughs> This one has, look, this has got stains on it, and this one went for, it's even, look how, how, how like, it's messed up. It's got fraying all right there. There's the tag again, made the USA, Nike, red check, uh, red swoosh, and that one went for, he took an offer, but he had it for six fifty. Let's see if we can see the tags on this one. This one went for five twenty five at auction. It's brown, brown with a white swoosh. Look at the tag, same tag. Nike, red, red swoosh, large, made in the USA. So if you can find that that tag with a red swoosh made in the USA, you just paid for your inventory for a long time. Look how bad a condition this is in. That's how sought after these things are. So that's your bolo for the day. And I'll do another one tomorrow. So um, if you don't want to watch all my information, my video, just, you know, fast forward to the end of it. Uh, but I'm going to start doing this every day. It's going to be good to learn just a little bit every day. Okay, what else do I got? I went over Facebook group, um, end of video bolo, Nike hoodie, end of, okay, auto posture. I got to go over the auto posture. Let's do that real quick. And if you're still here, appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up. That helps my channel out. And uh, if you're still here, I'm just going to do the auto posture stuff and then wrap up. Where did I go? I didn't go to auto posture. Let's go to auto posture. That was my Poshmark. Okay, so... This is auto posture and my cells went up the day that I kind of set this up. I've been using it for less than a week and I don't, I'm not attributing, I don't know if 
if my sales went up because of this. I have no idea. Like, my sales just crashed last week for whatever reason, and then all of a sudden they came back with a fury this weekend. We'll see where they go. But this has got to be helping, and let me. I want to show you why. It's just for eBay only. So, first of all, when you when you set up Auto Posture, it sucks in all your inventory, and it does it pretty fast. Um, it does it better than Vindu, and it does it better than um, List Perfectly. Like it, it pulled in everything from eBay. It pulled in everything from uh, Poshmark. It synced it all together, and then just said, "You need to check and verify all these syncs and make sure that we got it right." And out of the 1,400 items I had in Poshmark and the 2,000 I had in eBay, it synced about 10 of them wrong. I did go through each individual one, but it's easy to fix. Like when it's wrong, you just tell it, "Nope, that's wrong," and it just separates it. It makes two list. It just creates another listing. So it was really smooth. I liked it. Um, so the power of this to me, and the reason why I think maybe it's helping my sales is this recreates right here. I've got, this is offers. So I always do 15% off on anything. Uh, when I, when someone likes something and you can send offers, guess what? I don't have to send offers anymore because this is doing it for me. Auto posture is doing 15%. You just tell it what you want. You just go in your settings. I tell it 15% off my current price and just send it. And that's a little bit, you can put whatever message you want. I put thanks for your interest in my item. Um, so it's doing offers automatically. I don't have to do offers anymore. Um, not that that was a pain in the ass or anything because it didn't take any time hardly, but it's doing it for me. And then the recreates, I think, is is really powerful. This is uh, set up to every 29 day, or as, as my items age, and they renew in eBay on day 30. But it's not a new listing. It just gets counted in the in the 30 day cycle but then it kind of gets buried a little bit in the eBay algorithm and as, as something ages to 30 days 60 days 90 days 120 days eBay is promoting you less and less and less because you're not selling that item something's wrong with it and as you hit the uh, six month mark nine month mark it's almost impossible to sell your stuff again it's so buried in the algorithm and they're not interested in promoting anymore something's wrong with your listing or it's just priced badly or something so what this does is on day 29 it completely recreates your listing. It uses all the information you have, but it, it ends the listing and then creates a new one. And I it recommended doing 100 a day. So I just, I don't know what I'm doing. So I was like, go for it. Just do 100 a day. So it's recreating 100 listings for me a day off my current inventory. Uh, and so far it's done 81. And yesterday I did 100, the day before it did 100. And out of my sales on uh, Friday, I had 16 sales on Friday, three of them, were recreates that sold the day after it got recreated. I just realized how bright my light is. Um, and then yesterday I had, I think, 17 cells, and one of them was a recreate. Uh, it tells you it tells you in your cells, which I'll show you in a minute. So that's cool. I like that. And then for, for Poshmark, it does self-sharing, party sharing, community sharing. It relists. It does offers, and it does follows. I was paying... Um, posture VA $27 a month to do all that for me because I didn't want to do it. It's a pain in the ass to have to do all this stuff on your phone or on your on your uh, computer when you're trying to work throughout the day. Poshmark is a activity driven uh, platform. They want you on it all day every day. So I was using Posh VA to, to do it for me and it, Posh VA was working great. Um, the day I started using Posh VA, you could see my sales just start ticking up a little bit. They didn't go crazy, but they were more than the, I would go days without sales and then I'd get one as I was trying to learn how to use Poshmark. But as soon as I started using Posh VA, my sales just steadily just started going up and it was because you're doing all the following stuff. But because of Auto Posture doing this, I was able to cancel Vindu and Posh VA uh, and Auto Posture handles what both of those platforms were doing for me. I was using Vindu to cross list to Poshmark and I had all kinds of problems with Vindu. Um, it didn't run smooth. It wasn't. It was a little bit clunky, and it can't delist when you get a sell if you have an offer on it on any platform. Auto Posture can delist no matter what. They, every time something sells, it's immediately taken down from the other sites, which is awesome. That's. I was having to run an inventory report every morning uh, just to to make sure everything got delisted. With Auto Posture, it just does it. Um, I don't know how they do it, but it does. It uh, it takes everything down for you. Oh, let me close that. And that's another thing. Auto posture doesn't run in your browser or in, in, on as an extension in Chrome. It's its own um, its own site. It runs. You don't have to have your computer on. You can shut down. 
and it still continues to run, think, and do its thing. It's it's really nice. So because of all that, uh, I so far love Auto Posture. I haven't had any major issues with it all. There's just some very minor nitpicky stuff, um, but uh, nothing major. And I was paying Vendu 60 bucks a month, and I was paying uh, Posh VA 27 So that was... Um, but nearing 90 bucks a month and then auto posture is 70 bucks a month. So to me, it was definitely uh, something that makes sense to do. And then just yesterday I set up uh, Macari and um, Depop on there. I only have two items listed on each one um, because I starting tomorrow, I'm going to start listing 30 a day to those sites too, uh, just to get a boost in sales there. Uh, I got to build those up and that'll be a part of my videos too. As, as sales grow, I'll let you know what's working, what's not working. And then let's go to the inventory. I'm just going to bring up, uh, I'm going to bring up an example of something that's listed on all there. So this is on all four platforms. This is what I love about auto posture. Also it's very visual. This shirt's on all four platforms, you know, and these are on eBay and Poshmark, but not the other ones. And it's very easy. You just click on that and, uh, within 30 seconds to a minute, you're done and it's listed. It really doesn't take that long. The way I run it is I do my main listing in eBay. I do that myself. I don't like listing from here. I've tried it. I didn't like it. Um, I list in eBay myself, and then this syncs up with it. And then I, I from from Auto Posture, I will tell it, okay, go to Poshmark, go to Macari, go to Depop. you got to do each one individually. You can't just tell it, put them in all three, because each one of them needs you to make some adjustments. Um, and the AI doesn't always get everything right 100% of the time. So you just make your adjustments, but it takes literally a minute for a listing to do. It doesn't take that long. And then this is the little the little trigger you get when um, something's relisted. And then when you go to your cells, you can see, um, here, I'll show you my cells. Let's see. Here's my cells here. Um, it will tell you, like all this stuff got delisted today and yesterday. It will see, that's one of the ones that they relisted. And it says the item was relisted one day before it sold. Um, so as you go through here, you can see like, is the relisting doing anything for me? Should I do it? Should I not do it? So, so far, I'm really happy with it. There's another one. Um, there's the little chain, bolo, the necktie I went over. But, yeah, so far, I really like this this uh, program. It's phenomenal, and it's saving me time uh, in more ways than one. That's my little review of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a long one. If you're still here, I appreciate it. Um, Hope you had a great weekend, and I will see you tomorrow.